You guys will not stop tagging me in all of these weird videos from Alphabet that have been happening recently and I decided that I would take a look because guess what? I enjoy pain, apparently. And if you enjoy pain, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're very close to 400,000 subscribers. So um, if you click that button, you can join in with me and go through all the pain that I go through and we can share the burden. Doesn't that sound lovely? So the first one is that Alphabet has apparently been fighting people in McDonald's. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever been to a McDonald's at like three o'clock in the morning, it's not exactly the classiest place. I always feel like somebody's going to hit me around the head with a McChicken and that upsets me. Yes. I am a nut Muppet, darling. I am a Muppet. I am a Muppet. I'm a trans Muppet. Trans rights are human rights. Trans rights are human rights, darling. I stand for myself. Trans rights are human rights. Gay is not an insult. Trans rights. Don't you fucking come at me for being gay, bitch. I am trans. I'm proud. Why are you hiding your face? Don't hide your face. Yeah, so, um, I don't really know what to say to this part of the video. Um, from what I could tell, Elf was walked into a McDonald's and then just started screaming like a nutbag. And to be honest, you know when you look at people in the street and they just walk down the street and they're screaming, obviously you feel sorry for them because I'm not a sociopath. But I do go, I wonder what the development was like for that person. But thanks to TikTok Live, we could see how those people get created. And it's really quite distressing. Like, come on, man. People are trying to eat and you're going around just screaming like a maniac. I don't understand what is wrong with people. Like, get off TikTok Live, just... Type your little order into the machine, pay for it, wait for the number to come. It normally glitches out on the machine, and then sometimes, you know, the paper doesn't get printed, so you have to be like, I swear this is my Mackies. That's the most stressful part. Don't make the experience worse for a fish fillet sandwich. She so orders fish fillet. What do you guys reckon Alpha orders? It would be like fish fillet, a fruit bag that she doesn't touch, and then like four chalky milks. That's actually my order, so judge me. Come on, get on camera a bit. Our human rights. Trans rights. Our human rights. Trans rights. Our human rights. Trans rights. I'm a proud woman. I'm a proud woman. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that this is the way to go about spreading equality. I feel like if you do this in public, and I'm not saying this is okay, by the way, it's not, but you're more likely to attract the negative attention that you don't want. I feel like this is a great way to end up being jumped outside of Mackey's at 3am, which is quite literally what it seems like we're watching. I'm so confused about why I'm watching here because I've clicked on this video and there's like no context to this at all. Uh, what do the comments say? I need to read them. Little Britain, I'm a lady comes to mind. Okay, that's a, that's a bad comment. I'm ignoring that. Yeah, the social anxiety is mad. Yeah, for somebody who claims they're really socially anxious, going around live streaming yourself and going, I'm a like she does. That's not really something you kind of uh, attribute to somebody who's socially anxious. But Elphaba would never make something up. Never. Literally acting like CLA at the beginning. Yeah, it seems like for Elphaba, Chelsea Lee Art is like a role model. And um, I don't know how to say this, but if your role model is that train wreck of a person, then you are in a bad spot. This is so Aquarius coded. I'm Aquarius. And I don't like that at all. I don't like that comment. I hate that comment. <laughs> Don't you come at me. Do you walk away? Do you want this on you? Do you want this on you? Do you want this on you, bitch? Because you know what? I stand for our rights. Congratulations! We all know. That ending is unbelievable, by the way. Um, that woman is clearly fed up, just like I am and most of the United Kingdom's population. Why was she threatening to throw orange juice over that bloke? Uh, or woman? I don't know. They, them. Trans rights are human rights, baby. That's what Elphaba screamed at the Mackies. This is not a way to get that message across. Um, if anything, I think you're dampening that message. You're making people go, what an annoying person. I don't care what you are, you're just irritating. That can be true. I don't think anybody in here had a problem with Elphaba being trans. I think mean, we had a problem with you being so irritating when they're just trying to get their food. How about you shut up?
That would be nice. Just shut up, man. Or woman. Man, I meant in a genderless term. Like, oh, come on, man. Uh, hey, man. Stop saying man, Alex. Bloody hell, you're gonna get cancelled. Hey, that would have been fine, wouldn't it? I'm part of the problem. Well, it's no surprise that Elphaba goes to Mackie's because I've seen what she does at home. Are you ready to see the most disgusting video ever? And you may be going, Alex, an Elphaba video is disgusting. That's not possible. Well, it is, and I'm going to show you. So get ready for this one. The caption is, the bacon looked as raw as it did before it went in the microwave. Microwave? Bacon in the microwave? Why is bacon going in the microwave? It don't go there. You'll die. Anyway, so this is what we call bacon. Um, shame Ken Bacon's not here, he's a bit of a snack. Um, ten rushes of bacon. <laughs> so here we go. <coughs> so what we're gonna do is, oh, hair on my face. We're gonna do this. So you want this, lots of ham, bacon, same thing, anyway. What meal, right, consists of bacon cheese and demio sauce? I mean, maybe a pasta? But I don't see any pasta there. Also, that kitchen looks sort of grim. What is that all over the extractor fan? Do I even want to know? Um, just gonna put that on the plate. Plop it goes. One. And then, get another one. Yep. Why is bacon going on a plate? Nobody puts bacon on a plate, right? It doesn't go on there until it's cooked. You're just spreading salmonella everywhere. It's actually amazing that she's not dead. It's actually crazy. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because this is a feat of like just human ability to survive anything. She'd survive a bloody nuclear bomb like a cockroach. Oh, that's three, two, and then three. Oh, shit. Yeah. So you want something like this. Gordon Ramsay, you can counsel me if you want, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> She's a very fascinating um, creature. Uh, that's what I'll say. Reminds me of a cave troll from Lord of the Rings. Not in terms of looks, but in terms of mannerisms. Just like has that kind of like cave troll-esque movement that some people say that I have. But the differences between me and a cave troll is that I wouldn't put bacon in the microwave because that's what I'm watching happen right now. Like. How is she not dead? I'm being genuinely serious. Like, how does somebody put bacon in the microwave and survive? I don't get it. Is this is this like something that people do? I used to know people put e e eggs in the microwave. I started because it scares me. <laughs> eggs. Why would somebody put eggs in a microwave, let alone bacon? I guess I've got a death wish. Don't we all? So we got, we got this here, this is the bacon, look how lovely it is, it's so just... It's, it's raw, man! It's raw! It's actually making me feel sick, like watching her makes me feel actually like genuinely like sick, like I actually feel it in the pit of my stomach, like not even just like playing it up for a YouTube video, genuinely makes me feel sick. You're not gonna eat that, are you? I'm actually, str I'm struggling to look, I really am, I don't know if I can. And we'll look away for the rest. Delicious. I might have some actually. Oh, mm. You are you're a freak, man. You're a freak. Some people on the internet are just terrifying. I, I don't know what to say. This is making me ill. Like, why would somebody do this? This is wrong. This is so wrong on so many levels. This is horrific. She needs to be on, like, Come Dine With Me. Because, I mean, there'd be a health risk, but it would be fascinating to watch, wouldn't it? Just the first Come Dine With Me where people leave the house and then send a bulldozer in to destroy the kitchen afterwards. Like, this is a human health hazard. I mean, not only has there been a huge scabies outbreak recently, I mean it, check it, it's on BBC News. But, um, who could possibly have started that? Maybe it was a creature of the night. Maybe it was a cave troll. So we've got an alphabet video here where she reads a fortune cookie. Um, if it says that she's gonna die of salmonella in three weeks, then it's probably quite accurate. Let's see. I had one fortune cookie, why is it turned into two? You're gonna have to tell me to open this. Something is telling me to open this. I don't know what it is. But the universe is just telling me to open it. Somebody's telling me to open this fortune cookie. Is it the bit where it says tear here? Because that's not a fortune, Elfberg. That's called instructions. You want to hear something actually creepy? 
Right, I'm, what I'm about to show you is actually quite freaky. Guys, I had one fortune cookie, right? I'm not even shitting you. I'm not drunk. I've had one for, I bought one, I had one fortune cookie, I bought one. There was one in the bag. There's two now. Something's mentioned about live streaming on there. Do you want to see it? Okay, I'm going to tell you now, it doesn't say anything about live streaming. And you're going to have to see this fortune cookie, and I know it's going to say not one single thing about live streaming. Maybe she can't read, that wouldn't surprise me. But um, I'll put a bet down, I'll put a fiver down to everybody who watches this video. If it has the word live streaming in it, I will make sure all of you get that money. Okay, handshake. I'm waiting. All right, fair enough. Suit yourself. I'm not shitting you. Live. You can't make this shit up. Live not for time, but for eternity. And she read it as live not for time, but for eternity. I bloody hope not. I bloody hope you're not live for eternity. Please, if there is any god on this planet, you cannot have that come true. She can't be live forever and ever and ever until the end of time. That would be unfair on society. Where does Elphaba live forever? And all these good people that we know, they pass away, they die. And we get stuck with Elphaba Orion Doherty, who can't read. This means I'm always in the public eye forever. Live, not for time, but for eternity. I'm sorry to say, Elphaba, but your days are numbered, man. There's only so long that you'll be able to live stream for if you eat raw bacon every day, because you will die. You will actually die if you keep on doing this. This is bad for you. Don't do it. This is a warning to everybody at home. Don't do that, okay? It's actually horrific this person has a platform where they can do stuff like this. And I've said it before, because they shouldn't be allowed to run riot, because they are encouraging people to do stuff that is actually dangerous to their health. And they're really, really not quite that clever, are they? They're not bright. They're kind of the dullest tool in the shed, aren't they? They are a bit. They wouldn't even know what any of that means. That's the best part. Live. Stream. Live. TikTok. Live. Not for time, but for eternity. That means I'm always going to be in the public eye and always ha gonna have my name in people's minds. I'm always gonna be live in people's minds. I bloody hope not! Oh my God, this is like my biggest fear. Maybe this is what's happening to me. Maybe this fortune cookie's about me. She will live forever in my mind. <laughs> no, I need to destroy my brain. I need to destroy my brain now. Oh my God, my head, my head. Has three billion views on TikTok, right? Look. I know I sound deluded, it's fine, I get it, but... You are deluded, you are! It's not that you sound deluded, it's that you are! It's that you are deluded, it's that you've completely lost your bloody mind. Can you not read? Can you not read? Obviously it doesn't say that. How do fortune cookie know that you're alive? They don't actually work. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually gonna cry. I hate this. I hate this. I can't believe what I'm watching. The delusion is on another level. Well, let's um look at Alphaba's like New Year update. She did like a New Year's resolution. So let's figure out what she has to say. What's Alphaba doing this year? Going live forever and ever and ever until the end of time. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be great. Now it's done. Also, a vlog is coming. Yes, I am officially content creating. Alphaba twenty twenty four is doing vlogs. So I did some vlogs today, I, did, I got my nails done, so I have videoed to get my nails done, having some food, um, shopping, whole stuff like that. Yeah. I can't wait for the vlog, man. I can't wait for the cooking with me videos, where she gives herself salmonella in every single one. I can't wait to see her shopping. I can't wait to get access to Elphaba's life that we haven't had before. Oh wait, she's live 24 seven. Like mate, how can you vlog when all you ever do is live stream everything? It's insane. It's terrifying. It scares me, okay? It actually terrifies me. It's just infinite Elphaba content. You guys thought I was gonna stop? No, it never ends. There's more and more coming, more and more of Elphaba's enjoyable life to watch. Got my nails done. Look at these. Look how cute these are. How many of you like this new me? How many of you love this new me? Like shopping, improving herself, kind of feeling. I'm. I actually think I'm more happier than I've ever been. This is everybody at the beginning of the year. Fuck me. This is like. This is actually beyond comical. Yeah, I've been going to the gym and I've been eating healthily for like two days. And yeah, I really think this year is gonna be my year. It's not. You're going to fail. Like everyone else, welcome to uh, the reality of the human condition. And I feel really like me. I'm happy and so like 
finally something's happening, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Also, I'm um, update on my hormones. Um, so all I've got to do is pay an extra £30 a month and um, home pharmacy should be taking care of this all. So I'll be able to get my hormones soon. And it's going to be like a gel you put on here, which is really exciting. Um, so that is the update. And that's pretty much it. New nails plus shopping equals a new me. Okay, Elphaba. I guess uh, for me, what am I going to be doing this year? Maybe I'll get a haircut. I need one of those. New me. I'm a whole new guy, man. I'm a whole new guy. I just, like, I've never seen somebody more delusional ever in my life, okay? Like, on this planet. I'm bringing the microphone in for this. I've never seen somebody who seems to just be more insane the more I tune in. And the fact that Elfba is going to stop vlogging and posting YouTube content is terrifying because, number one, I can't wait for the first apology because we're due that. We should probably do, like, um, an Elfba prediction card for the new year, like, write down some predictions. If you guys want to do that in the comments section, we can join in and we can see throughout the year how many of them come true. YouTube apology video is top of my list. What's number two? Buys a pan and learns how to cook properly. That would be a recommendation more than it would be a prediction. Bloody hell. You know, learn how to cook. I'm hardly a, a cooking genius, man. I make a nasty, nice bolognese. A, a nice bolognese. I make a good bolognese, man. I do. I, I very much like my bolognese, okay? I enjoy it. It's all that matters. And I can make uh, an egg sandwich. So, you know, it's nice to know that I'm a slightly more put together than Elphaba even if it is only slightly. But the fortune cookie and the delusion is crazy. Apparently she's gone and met up with Evil Queen, who I thought they hated each other. So let's watch that. Let's watch two people who apparently hate each other on TikTok um, hang out, because that sounds fun, doesn't it? So yes. Enjoy tonight. We will love, so we'll have all the lovely times with Alphabet. Dress everyone the same. Say no. I can't, darling. So sorry. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like shouting to her. Oh, fuck, we got a picture. I don't even know. It's crazy. It's so weird. You know, just like, you guys don't have many people who will be nice to you and this is how you treat the people who ask you for pictures and stuff. I know that's like their personality. Is they're meant to be, like, sassy. They're going for that kind of drag queen thing. No offense to drag queens. I don't want to lump them in with these people because, God, it's, it's not the same. But on a serious note, man, I used to look forward every year to doing my meet and greets. It was, like, the best part of my year. I, I basically only uploaded videos so that, like, I had something to talk about at the meet and greets, man. Meeting every single person was unreal, and I would stay behind, and I would do meet and greets outside, even though I would get massively told off by the event and security, which is probably why I don't get invited back to many anymore, and I would meet people who couldn't get into the event, couldn't even buy tickets. Uh, you know, I would go outside and meet people. I did it at VidCon, I did it at Insomnia a couple of times, and um, that's because that's what I do it for, you know, uh, and to reciprocate that love is like the least you could do. Like if people are willing to go, hey, I like your thing, you know, you should just go, yeah, man, I appreciate that. I mean, for me, not just because it's a nice thing to do, but because that's what I did it for. And I really appreciate the people who I see in the street, who I sat next to with on trains, who've come by and I've had conversations with. You know, every time there's somebody who wants to talk to me, who's a fan, they get my time because without them, uh, number one, I can't pay for my bills. I can't do anything along those lines. But fuck that. It's because they watch the stuff and that's all I do it for. So to treat people this way is just grim and I really hate it. It's like my biggest pet peeve. People who talk about how much they hate meet and greets or meeting people in the street. It's like, man, get over yourself, you know? Unless I'm like eating. And even then, I'm not like annoyed. I'm just like, oh, I'd love to talk. But I just, you know... Let, let me do it when we have time. I want to be able to give you the proper amount of time. It's not because it's ever any inconvenience to me. Because I have a life because of these people watching. But a lot of people don't share that. But these people acting the way they do is insane. It's crazy. Because they should be so grateful that anybody even pays them any attention. It's maddening. You're famous, love. <laughs> We're recognised all over. 
Alpha is slaying every uh, slaying existence right now. Look. Where's Maria? I know Maria couldn't come, could she? No, she can't, unfortunately. Your hair is beautiful. Oh, thank you. Look at her lovely long hair. I'm jealous. Oh, I love all the extensions. <laughs> I promise you, I swear, Alphabet smells lovely and clean. I swear to God, anybody saying anything different, like, you're crazy. Yeah, well, what a lovely pair of people. Um, truly uh, great. Just walking around London aimlessly, hoping people wave at you. It's bloody pathetic. Well, thank you for watching this little deep dive onto the life of Alphabet. I can't wait for her to be live for eternity. Are you looking forward to it? Because I'm not. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh god, I'm stuck here forever. Oh no! No, seriously, bye. I've gotta go. I've gotta go eat dinner. Bacon in the microwave. See ya!